Hello, class. I'm going to do a recording for your co ec course, uh, the least common multiple uh, section 2.5 lesson. So that's on page 32 of your co ec. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my document camera. All right. So for section 2.5, we have that here lesson. Um, remember, you have a take home sheet that you can practice on where you can check your work. And there's also uh, practice quizzes. And uh, quiz three uh, covers 2.1 and 2.5. Okay. And so I'm going to teach you 2.5 now. And this is uh, on page 32 of your co rec. Okay. And so it starts off with a definition here. It says that uh, what is a multiple? A multiple of a number is that number multiplied by a counting natural number, one, two, three, and so on and so on. So we first learned about multiples when we learned the multiplication tables in grammar school. So for example, the first three multiples of two are found by multiplying two times one which is two, two times two is four, two times three is six. So two, four, and six are the first three multiples of two. And two is a multiple of two, four is a multiple of two, six is a multiple of two. Now, what is an LCM? So it's, it's the least common multiple, also referred to as the least common um, multiple and the least common denominator. Uh, for the LCM of a list of natural counting numbers, one, two, three, and so on and so on, the LCM is the smallest natural number that is evenly divisible by all the natural numbers listed on the list. It's helpful to show work for the largest number listed first. So for example, the LCM of two, 10, five, and three, they're claiming is 30, okay? So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, two methods for doing this. Um, you're familiar with the, the multiples making a multiplication chart, but then I'm also gonna show you a method using the list of primes. And the reason for showing you two is that sometimes it, the, the first method can be tedious and sometimes you might have two or three lines of multiples before you get to the LCD, the LCM. And so sometimes you might wanna have a backup method for finding it. So the first method Find the LCM of the given set of counting numbers for 8, 24, and 10, and show some kind of work for full credit. If I start with the biggest number, 24, and then 10, and then followed by 8, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the multiples of these, and then I'm going to try to identify an LCM which is also known as the LCD, okay? So you wanna um, grab your multiplication chart and start listing your multiples. So here I have a multiplication chart here for 24. Okay, you see all these numbers here? 24 times one is 24, 24 times two is 48, 24 times three is 72, 24 times four is 96. And it turns out that on this problem, I believe 120 is going to be our answer. So I'm gonna, I usually list like the first five or six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I usually list the first six and then check Check, check things out and look for a common multiple. But if I still don't find one, then I then I add a few more and then I compare. So if I look at the first six, 24 times one is 24, 24 times two is 48, times three is 72, 24 times four is 96, 24 times five is 120. If I do one more, 24 times six is 144. Okay, then I look at 
tens. So here are my tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, hundred, ten. See that match? One twenty. Write those down. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, hundred, hundred, ten, 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 sixty, seventy, eighty, hundred, hund
and fives, right? When you were working with eight, 24 and 10, and you can only list prime factors. Like, like don't, put, don't put the six there, right? Don't put the four, there. those are not prime. Only want these prime factors and all the different ones. So you see you got twos, threes and fives. Okay, but that's it. That's it, no sevens, no elevens, that's it. But then you've got to circle the ones that have the most exponents per factor. So like these twos are all competing, two cubed, two cubed, and two. So you want to go with a group that's got the biggest exponent. So cube is bigger than the first power, two to the first power. So you want to go with two cubed. These are just competing two cubed and two cubed. So just circle one of them. And then you've got a three and then you've got a five. So there's your three and there's your five. So now when you multiply that um, two cubed, and remember to use this key, right? For the exponent key. Some of you have the older calculators. These activate the exponent keys as well. But we've got two cubed. So you have two hat to the third power times three times five, it gives you 120. Okay. All right. And you see, that's the same answer that we got. And we're using different methods. Okay. So this method, multiples method, this method, I'll call it like prime factorization method. Okay. Okay, now uh, for two, we're gonna do our multiple. So the biggest number is 25 and then 15, then 10 LCD equals LCM. All right, so if I list um, multiples of 25. Let's see. Okay, so you see class right here. 25 times 1, 20 times times 2 is 50, 25 times 3 is 75, 25 times 4 is 100, 125, 150. So I'm going to stop because I think it's 150 and it's that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I usually do the list of first six or seven or so. So 25 times one times two, 25 times three, 25 times four. Okay, so I've got that list going there. 24 times 5, 25 times 5, 25 times 6. Okay, and now do the same look at 15, the list of 15. Okay, so for 15, take all the way over here to 150, see that? 15 times one times two. So I'm gonna list those multiples. 15 times one is 15. 15 times two is 30. 15 times three is 45. 15 times four is 60. 15 times five is 75. 15 times six is 90. 15 times seven is 105. 15 times 8 is 120. 15 times 9 is 135. 15 times 10 is 150. Okay. And now, now I'm going to do 10. And remember, we saw 10 over here, too. So 10 is 10, 20, 30. See, these have 30, you see 15 and 10, but there's no 30 for 25. It's got to be common to all of them. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So you see both of these have 90, but see the first one doesn't. 100, 
110, 120, 130, 140, and finally you get to 150, and that's common to all of them, okay? So it's 150 is the LCD, the LCM. Okay, now if you do this uh, method of the prime factorizations, let's see. Okay, so you have uh, 25 is, um, let me do this here, 25, let me do this here, is five times five. Okay, that's five squared. 15 is five times three. Uh, 10 is two times five, okay? So the LCD, which is the LCM is equal to, so you're gonna, you're gonna be working with fives and uh, threes and twos. So you've got a uh, circle with two there and circle with three there. But when it comes to the five of the color competing, you have five to the first power, five to the first power, five squared. The one that wins is the one with the greatest exponent when they're competing. Opposite of least, least common, multiple opposite of least is greatest. You want to pick the one with the greater exponent. So you go with the five squared. Okay. And then if we multiply that out, two times three times five squared is 150. So you see class, we, both students get 150. This is using the multiples and this one's using the prime factorization. And we both got the same answer. We came out with 150. Number three, find the LCM of the given set of counting numbers. Okay, so six and 50. Okay, so I start with 50 first. 50 times one is 50. 50 times two is 100. So you notice on the multiplication chart, it only goes up to 30. So you can, you're just like adding 50. If I do 100 plus 50, that's 150 plus another 50, that's 200, plus another 50, that's 250. You have one, two, three, four, five, plus another 50 is 300. And then six LCD equals LCM. Okay, so if I look at six, there's six, six, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. So we're still trying to find a match. Oh, look, it looks like it's 150 again. It's all the way out here. See that out here? with times 25, six times 25 is 150. So it looks like it looks like that's, yeah, that's gonna match. So if I list the multiples of six, six, 12, 18, 20, 40, 30, 54, 60, 66, 72, 78, 84, 90, 96, 102, 
108. 114, 120, back over here, 126, 132, 138, 144, and finally, finally you get to 150. So that's a long, tedious process. See that? Whereas if you use the prime factorization, six is two times three. 50 is, I would say like five times 10, for example, and 10 is two times five. Okay, so you've got 50 is two times five squared where six is two times three. So LCD equals LCM. So you've got definitely one of the twos are competing. So just circle one of them and then circle a three and then the five squared. You've got to use all your different prime factors. So you've got twos, threes, and fives. So if I multiply that two times three times five, raised to the second power, it's 150. If for some reason, if your, your power key, is, your exponent key is not working, you can always you know, expand it out two times three times five times five, it's 150. Okay, I'm sorry, excuse me. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Okay, we have 12 and 45. So let me get the multiples first. Okay, so if you start, if you start listing the multiples for 45, because 45 goes off your chart, uh, multiplication charts are 30 by 30. And I did do these earlier by hand, let me show you. I think if I remember correctly, this one was really long for four, let's see. So you have, um, 45, so 45 times one is 45. 45 times two is 90. 45 times three is 135. Remember, you, and you can just keep adding 45 to 135 plus 45, right? Keep adding, it's 180. And I think, I think that's gonna be 180 here, so I'm gonna stop there, just one, two, three, four. I mean, usually I do about five or six, plus 45 is 225 plus 45 is 270. Okay, now on the 12, we have that you have on your multiplication chart. Let me look that up. I'll just fold this right here. Taking a twelve. Okay, so you see, so twelve, twenty four, thirty six, forty eight, sixty. You're looking for a match. Oh, it looks like it's 180. So it like it's 180. See so you're at 180? 12 times 15 is 180. So it looks like it's 180. So you have several multiples. So you have 
uh, 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 36. 48. 60. 72. 84. 96. 108. 120. 132, 144, 156, 168, 180. And there's your match right there, 180. Okay. Now, if you do the prime factorization method, 12 is two times six, Six is two times three. So 12 is two squared times three. And for 45, that's for example, five times nine is 45 and nine is three times three. So that's three squared times five. Okay, so so you got two squared. And on the three, see how they're competing? You're going to go with three squared. Three squared has a bigger exponent squared than three to the first power. And then the five. Okay, so if I multiply that out, two squared, two raised to the second power times three raised to the second power times five. So here's your, you raise it to a power. So you see how that gives you 180? Or you could draw it out two times two times three times three times five. Okay. okay. And then number five, you're working with seven, two, five, and four. Okay, so if I do the prime factorizations first, um, they're all prime. Seven's already just seven. Two's already just two. Five is already just five, five times one. Oh, four isn't. Four is two squared. So four is two times two. So the LCD equals LCM. So you definitely have the two squared Go with two squared as opposed to the first power because the squared that you want the most power, the greatest exponent. You definitely need a five and you need a seven. You're supposed to use all the different, you know, prime factors. And when they're competing, you use the one with the most opposite of least is greatest exponent. Two raised to second power times five times seven. Is looks like it looks like it's going to be 140. Let me just check my answer on that. Let's see. Yes, it's 140. Yes, and uh, this one I have done this already by hand. I just want to show you this is going to be very, very tedious. And then you can, if you want to copy this down, you can pause the screen. But you see, this is. This is my work for number five. I'm working with seven and two and five and four. Four down here. And you see, see how I have 140 circled? 140, see? And I didn't circle here, 140 circled here. And then for four, 140. See that? Let me squeeze this up. See that? But look, look how tedious this work is. You have to be very patient. I mean, look at the twos. Look how many twos you're writing out. You want to probably do dot, 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 like ellipses, and then get to close 136, 138, 140. That's because there's a lot of a lot of multiples. So I'm gonna if you want to freeze, pause or freeze if you want to write those down, you can do that. So it freeze it and write those down. And then when you're done, start up, then I'll raise this up so that you can get 
all of these down here for four. Look all those for four. So you get to 140. And I think if you check out four on here, four, nope, even this four across, it goes up to 120, see? So you still have, have to do add four, add four, add four, till you get to 140, okay? But, but you can see that it is gonna be 140. Okay, so just, you know, pause the screen and write those down. And then pause the screen and then write those down. But it is going to be 140. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to just put here, um, well, we just leave it at 140 here. We have that there. But I, I've shown you this using the multiples, it's going to be 140 there also. So let me just write that down. Answer using multiples is tedious but results in 140 equaling the LCM, the LCD. Okay. And then six says, uh, list the first six multiples of the given number, which is nine, and show some kind of work for credit. And then your answers, separate your answers with commas, like on the computer, you would do that. So nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 18. Nine times three is 27. Nine times four is 36. Nine times five is 45. Nine times six is 54. Okay, so this, these are all your, your answers. Separate your answer with commas, so answers. So in the computer, you would put nine comma 18 comma 27, 36, right, comma. Okay, but as far as showing your work for full credit, here's your work for that. And number seven, list the first six multiples for, for 50. 50 times one is 50. Fifty times two is a hundred. Fifty times three, hundred and fifty. Fifty times four is two hundred. Fifty times five is two fifty. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They want the first six. Five times six is three hundred. Looks like yeah, it's up there. Looks like it's going to be these here. Then. Okay. Okay, thank you. That was, that was the lesson for 2.5.